no doubt this must be Italy, a country so rich of beautiful travel destinations. Welcome to In Bed with Luxury, the unique travel channel. This time we are not looking at the usual suspects like Venice or the beautiful lakes in northern Italy where George Clooney used to stay. No, we are looking at a glamorous dream island that can be reached via Naples by plane at incredible cheap prices actually. We found tickets from London to Naples for just 41 euros, can you believe it, and from New York City for just 238 euros. So what is the magic of Capri and how to reach the island? What to avoid, what to see and of course where to stay? We we'll tell you, stay tuned. Yours, Charles Pennington. I hope you don't have to fly that far. Capri is located around 35 kilometers from Naples. Its size is just 10 square kilometers or 3.9 square miles. It's a limestone island, not a former volcano like neighboring islands of Ischia and Procida. Around 14,000 inhabitants live on Capri. They are overrun by 2.3 million tourists every year. Surprisingly, this does not stop the world's celebrities from making pilgrimages to Capri. In selected restaurants you can see photos with stars who had good times here and with a bit of luck you can even meet them in person, especially in the evening when the day tourists are gone and the celebs leave their posh hotels. Celebrity visitors are nothing new for Capri. The island is one of the oldest tourist destinations imaginable. The first fans arrived 2000 years ago. Rich Romans who had magnificent villas built here. The most famous Capri lover at the time was Emperor Tiberius, who even made Capri the seat of government for the Roman Empire. The Romans loved the island and even decorated the picturesque caves of Capri. There are 62 in total. Capri consists of two parts, the glamorous Capri and the simpler, quieter Anna Capri. Why is Capri so popular? Well, the climate is wonderful, mild, wild orchards, oaks, umbrella pines and cacti up to 9 meters high grow here. Cele celebrities come and above all the beauty of the sea beckons. Mark Twain, who visited the island in 1869, raved about the brightest, most beautiful blue imaginable. Capri is an island. No bridge, no airport, so do not rent a car. This applies to the entire Amalfi coast. The narrow streets in this wonderful part of Italy are completely overloaded in summer. Driving is tiring, long traffic jams are the norm and in high season there is often no space in the parking garages despite daily fees of between 30 and 50 euros. So our recommendation is a flight to Naples. The taxi from the airport to Molo Bevarello, the ferry departure point costs between 35 and 50 euros, depending on traffic conditions. 
You can also get to the port by bus or subway. The ferries from Naples run to Capri up to 10 times a day in summer, and overall, from the whole Amalfi Coast, there are about 40 trips a day to Capri. The earliest ferry from Naples starts at 6.45 a.m. and the last one leaves at 11.20 p.m. The crossing takes between 45 minutes and 1 hour 20. And the tickets cost just under 30 euros. How to book online? See our website. Capri has two ports, Marina Grande on the south coast and Marina Piccola, the small one on the north coast. The ferries usually land in the Marina Grande. Anyone who has booked a luxury hotel will be picked up here. The Marina Grande with its many boats, expensive yachts, restaurants and shops is quite interesting. And here you will also find the biggest public beach on the island. Marina Grande used to be a sleepy small fishing port that the Romans had already used. Today it is the starting point for many excursions and boat trips such as to the Blue Grotto. The traditional way to go to the Blue Grotto is to take a 30 to 40 person boat from Marina Grande to the Grotto, travel time around 20 minutes, then wait your turn up to an hour until you climb into a four person rowboat to enter the small grotto. From Marina Grande, a cog railway takes you to the heart of Capri, the Piazza Umberto, at the top of the mountain. By the way, cars and bikes are forbidden in Capri, but not in Anna Capri. Piazza Umberto is the heart of Capri, and it's great to enjoy a coffee here, watch people by, passing by, and the nearby terrace offers great views towards Naples and the Vesuvius. Trying a pizza in Capri is a must. Why? Because at least the pizza margarita was invented in nearby Naples. And the Neapolitan pizza dough is considered to be the best in the world. It's characterized by a crispy and airy edge that rises particularly high. If you have the necessary heat, at least 400 degrees Celsius, the popular leopard pattern forms on the edge, which is characteristic of the Neapolitan pizza, which is not as crispy as a stone oven pizza, but yet very yummy. In the middle, the dough is rather thin and moist, while the edge is bulging and airy. So we are talking a lot about pizza now, but uh, the most famous dish is a salad. In a second. What is the best, the ultimate way to experience Capri? Well, probably when you are in love, but 
that's alas beyond travel booking but what's possible is to enjoy this beautiful island without or with less of the crowds 85% of the approximately 2.3 million visitors are day tourists. The islanders call them mordi i fuci, people who just want a quickie. So take your time and don't travel during peak season if possible. Capri is also beautiful in spring or autumn. But if you need to go in summer, then stay. Just stay. Capri is a completely different island in the morning and later in the mild summer evenings than it is during the daytime and its crowds, without the 20,000 or more day trippers clodging up the small streets. So stay in Capri for at least one night, preferably a bit longer, and experience the island in the evenings and mornings without the day trippers. We recommend at least three days for a relaxed Capri experience. Our hotel recommendations coming soon in this program. But let's return to dining and wining. The island's most famous specialty, Insalata Caprese, owes its existence to a military coup in Egypt that forced King Farouk into exile in 1952. Farouk had to spend the summer in Capri, not the worst exile by the way. After a long hot day of swimming in the sea, the king asked for a cool, light meal in the evening on the legendary terrace of the Hotel Quisisana, which you can see here. The chef at Quisisana have invented then the, the insalata caprese. Flavorful tomatoes of the Cuore di Bue or San Marzano tomatoes, fresh basil mozzarella made from buffalo milk, extra virgin olive oil and salt. The original recipe, by the way, demands apply the oil to the tomatoes only and don't use balsamic vinegar at all. If you love seafood, you will love Capri. We are here in a Pescaria de Potege, a fish shop, which is a combination of a market and a kitchen, so you can try all the seafood available here. Let's have a look what they have. Buongiorno. It's not a good one. Like the big ones, calamari, spring, then uh, lumberjack. Mm -hmm. If you want, today we can make a uh, slice. What is it? Uh, lumberjack. Lumberjack. Lumber yes. Jack. Marco, the pool manager. I am here uh, 25 years. Um, Mariah Carey, um, Luis Miguel, um, Jennifer Lopez.
We're coming to an end now and uh, finally here are a few impressions and appetizers for this glamorous piece of Italy which, like the nearby Amalfi Coast, is a wonderful travel destination. Maybe you'll also take a look at another in bed with luxury film all about Amalfi or be inspired by one of our hotel videos or train videos or cruise videos. Links on our website www.inbedwithluxury.com I hope you enjoyed our short guide to Capri. Additional information on our website. And please follow us to awesome hotels, trains, cruises and stunning destinations all over the world. Subscribe, like, comment and don't forget, enjoy life. Yours, Charles Paddington.